Oh shit! Oh, get out of it, you dog! Whoa! Holy! All right, guys, welcome back to another nomadic fishing adventure. I've just set up my kayak, and I'm going to be spending the next two days offshore looking for kingfish. Oh my days! It is stacking up to be a stunning day on the water, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to get out there. I've uh, I've been battling with the cold a bit this morning. There's a cold southwester wind blowing out of this gully, so I've been sipping on the coffee, trying to stay warm. I am so excited to get out there and uh, hopefully get onto some of these fish. That's enough talking. Let's get out there. You. Forty-five minute paddle to spot number one. Well, the wind forecast is a bit off this morning. It is uh, really, really freaking windy. So I've actually tucked in under some shelter. I'm hoping that the wind is going to drop down, but in the meantime, I might as well throw a soft bait out and see if I can't pick up a moocher. We were going to target kingfish, but a little bit of a side mission here. Going to see if we can get a good, good snapper while we wait for this weather to come right. It's blowing about 20 knots out there. It's really sheltered in here, but yeah, I don't want to be offshore right now. Let's see what we can find in here. Well, uh, flicking the soft bait while we're waiting for the wind to drop has paid off. In a big way, I think. It feels bloody solid. Right down in the weeds though. It's very shallow here, 16 meters of water. When I hooked this guy, I didn't really think too much of it. He didn't do much and now he's just going hundy as. Very heavy fish. Let's see if we can get him away from these rocks and get him up. Should be able to see him in a second here. Oh, what? No way, it's a solid as snapper. Get you in our lap, buddy. Well, the first fish of the morning turned out to be a bit of a donk. And just slide you on in. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Just uh, dicking around in the shallows, really. Waiting for this wind to drop off. And, uh, well, Jeez, I don't really know what to say here. Wasn't expecting this, but uh, here we have it. First fish of the of the morning, eh? Not the target species we're after, but I'll take it. I'll take a nice snapper any day of the week. Let's get this guy going home. Uh, well, I'll catch you next time, mate. You can grow up a little bit bigger. He's sweet. On the board, eh? First fish of the morning. Been pretty slow, very windy. Just praying that this weather drops down so I can get out wide. Oh well, I suppose we have a few more casts here. That was cool. Here we go, there's a fish. Not too sure on the size just yet. Got a bit of weight to him, but he hasn't done much. Oh, maybe he's a good fish. Kind of fighting that way. Oh, my sound is playing up. Man, these things are going hard today. Wow, okay. I don't think he's massive, but he's got some weight behind him. We'll see him in a second here. Oh, my sound is really acting up. It's like another really solid snapper. Almost a carbon copy of the last fish. They're not massive by any means today but 
Man, they good. A good winter snapper, eh? If I can keep them in the boat, drop them over the side. That wasn't very professional. Come on. Get you in the boat. Really good fish. Solid sort of, I don't know, 50, 50 to 60 centimetre model. And I can't keep a hold of this one. Just get him going home. Pop that out. And he's gone. Oh, the wind has finally dropped and we've managed to get out to this reef. We've got a lot of bait fish under us, so we're going to be dropping the jig. Just run you through my setup really quickly. We've got a Torium 16, Backbone Elite, PE 3 to 6 and a 290 gram octo speed jig. We're gonna drop that down. There's a lot of sign under us. Sunset this drag, see what we can find here. Okay, we're just coming down to the bottom now. 35 meters deep. See if we can find something. Nothing on the first drop. Drop again. Got about 20 minutes before the tide change. It's quarter to 10 now and the tide change is just uh, just after 10 o'clock. Coming up on the low tide. Which is usually when the fish feed is near the tide change. So we'll start just working this reef, see if we can find anything. Okay, we're marking bait under us, just on the upcurrent side of the reef. Oh, that felt like a hit. It was a weird hit. I'm not sure what happened there. Kind of had a weird, sort of weighty bump on the lure. Didn't feel like a kingfish smacking it. Might have hit a bait fish or something. Keeps a sign under me. Keep the kingies in there. Well, we're well and truly into the tide change now, so they should be starting to come on the bite. If they are here, there's a lot of bait here. I still haven't marked any fish. See, they're stacked up under me. Big bait ball. These kingies around, they've got to be, got to be in there. It's the bottom. Okay, holy, holy smokes! I just got absolutely smacked. Whoa. Holy smokes! Was not expecting that. I've been jigging for like three hours without a bite. And this jig has just got absolutely annihilated. Oh my God. Oh my days. It hit it like literally 10 meters from the surface. I wasn't anticipating a bite. And it feels pretty bloody big. Wow, feels very big. How deep are we? 40 meters deep. And he is 30 meters down already. Holy smokes, he took a little line. Oh. Now he's coming up, what the hell? What is going on? Is he hooked in the side or something? He's just coming up real easy now. What is going on? What is going on? He's like right here. Where are you? Holy sh... That thing is big. That is way bigger than I thought. What? 
this thing didn't fight at all. What? What? If you can't tell, I'm a little bit confused. Why did it not scrap? It hardly fought. That was weird. What? He did one big run at the start and then came up so easily. I'm really confused. It's not a bad fish, eh? Get him in the boat. Wow, he's actually a really good fish. Just didn't fight. All that jigging paid off. That's a good, oh, that's a good, you know, 12 kilo fish. Oh, and he's super green. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm so confused. I think he's going to come home for a feed though. It's a really good sized fish for a feed. Look at the look at the size on him. He's round as girthy as I am so confused. 4 hours of jigging for nothing. Then I get this one big whack, smokes off on a big first run that I fully missed and then just comes up to the surface with no fight. I'm lost for words. I can't believe this guy didn't fight harder. What the hell? Oh, well, let's hold him up for you and get a photo. Oh, very green and lively. He's probably a good 12 kilo, man. He's heavy. <laughs> what is going on? Beautiful. So stoked. Couldn't ask for more, really. Start of winter, got a kingy. Took a while, took a bit of effort, but he's gonna be very good eating. He's really good condition, nice and fat. So let's quickly dispatch him and we'll bleed him out. And then we'll slide him in the boot. Just to dispatch him, I'm gonna use the gaff and just give him a tap on the head. And he's out cold. Now we can uh, get the blood out of him and deal to him in, in the boot. It's always a bit of a mission getting these guys sorted when you want to take one but it's so worth it absolutely amazing eating just gonna run my knife around his gill plate that'll help pump the blood out of him improve the eating quality and uh make for some better better tucker don't do this if there's sharks around by the way because uh well yeah I'm, I'm sure you can figure that out just by the by the scene here but I'm stoked. So Jiggy took, I dropped it down to 190 gram. A bit easier on the arms. And that hook has just got on right in the corner there. That's one of my homemade assist hooks there. Bit of uh, skirting. And uh, that little bit of flack is a bit of a chip packet that I've turned inside out. But I digress. Well, look at the state of that. That's a good fish. And in the back. Doesn't quite fit, but that's always a good thing. Well, now that we're on the board, my spirits have changed a bit, and I think I'm gonna go out for a few more drifts, just uh, while there's no wind, and yeah, don't wanna be out too much longer, because I wanna get that guy cleaned up. Alrighty, let's work that reef again. I hooked that fish on the edge that I've been working all morning. There's been a little bit of bait sitting on it, all right, so this is the edge that I'm fishing. You can see up here is the pinnacle and to the left of it is the bait. And on the chart, you might be able to see that. I don't know if you can. Um, there's a contour line here. So it's dropping from 30 to 50. And that bait school there is where I pulled that last fish. So we're gonna try and do that again. I'm pretty, pretty happy. I'd go in now if it wasn't so nice. I mean, look at the conditions. Bloody beautiful, finally, after that wind bugged off. Let's drop another jig. Jig deployed. Running absolutely sunset drag here. 
could be a big fish in there. You never know. You just never know. 40 meters on this, on this part of the reef. Let's see what we can make happen. No cigar. Was it a one hit wonder or will we find another one? That's the question. Cigar. No fucking way. No. You're kidding me. You're actually freaking kidding me. That rod's gone. That rod's gone forever. You're freaking kidding me. I can see it going down on the sounder. Oh my god, okay, I wasn't filming, but the bloody kingfish in the boot, he's just kicked his tail and flicked my soft bait rod out of the rod holder and into the water. Done myself a proper mischief here. So that kingy that I chucked in the back, I was just paddling along and he kicked his tail and uh, I looked over my shoulder and he'd knocked the rod my soft bait rod out of the rod holder with his tail i just looked over it was a foot high in the air then it was in the piss and <sighs> now it's sitting on the bottom in 60 meters never gonna see that rod again gutted bit of a bust up i'm gonna keep fishing though there's heaps of sign here on oh, yeah, boy. Small fish. Yep. Smaller fish. Just a rat. <sighs> Ow. Uh, baby kingfish. Ah, yeah, stop. Chill. Chill out, chill out, chill out. Chill out. Gone. Oh, yep. There we are. On again. Another, uh, another rat. So not interested with these little ones. They're very annoying. Carbon copy of that last one. There we go. Another rat. Send him on his way. And everything's soaked. I'm gonna put a bigger jig on, try and try and get away from the small fish. All right, so we're going from the 190 to the 290. It's a size difference. See if that helps get away from these smaller ones. Let's quickly rig this up. Sound is playing up again. That's all right. Let's go and drop this this big jig down. Oh, sounder, stop. Ah, oh, my sound has cooked itself. All right, I think we're back in business. Back on the mark now. I'm gonna drop this jig. See if we can't get a big Ooh. dog. Hit, hit. Come on, eat it properly. Okay, we're gonna drop it back to him. Got like three wax then. It's had a bump on the drop. Should hook up here. Yep. Ah, small fish. Another rat. Oh shit! Oh, get out of it, you dog! Whoa! Holy s Holy smokes! Where'd the shark go? Where did that shark go? Holy smokes, that scared the hell out of me! Where did the shark go? 
Holy smokes, I hope I got that on camera. Get out of here, mate. Okay, that shark scared the absolute bejesus out of me. Get out of here, mate. Swim off. Oh, Jesus. I am shaking. Okay, so I was just turn the cameras off because everything's about to go flat. Pulling up that rat kingy. And that bronzy was right underneath it. Holy smokes. I'm literally shaking right now. That scared the hell out of me. Oh, there's so much adrenaline going through me right now. <laughs> We're dropping again. Let's get another fish. Well, after that shark turned up, it was pretty hard to get a decent fish to the boat. So I decided to make a move on in. I'm back at the beach now, just filling up that fish. Should feed me for a good 10 days or so. Pretty happy with that. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more content like this. But anyway, I'm out. Whew.